need to be kind of quiet because these people are all working behind me, but I got up this morning and uh, headed to this co-working office so I could get some work done. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna work for maybe another hour, half hour, and then I'm gonna go do some exploring and shopping. I don't think I've talked about this thing yet, but this is kind of the center of Kiev and it's very much right where we're staying. Uh, well, actually we're staying back there a couple blocks, but I actually came up the wrong side of the subway exit, so I need to be on the other side of the street. But I thought since I'm here, I might as well shoot something of this famous monument in Kiev. And I apologize, I don't know the name, I'll figure it out. I finished up at the co-working space, had a very productive work session. I had four cups of coffee, so that's probably good for the calorie intake, but now I'm really hungry and a little jittery. So I'm gonna go across the street, which means going down under, back up. I'm gonna find John who's at the room. We're gonna go eat something and do some shopping. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a busy last day in Kiev. I've seen this in other European metros, but uh, most of the big stations here in Kiev have like massive underground shopping centers at each station. So on my trip from the other side of the road to the side I need to be on, um, you can do about any kind of shopping you want in here. There's some souvenir stuff, there's lots of food. I've seen several vendors selling like ladies undergarments. Um, looks like some traditional Ukrainian stuff. Maybe I'll check that out in a little bit. So now I'm on the correct side of the street and you can see the monument that I showed you before is behind me and probably the busiest street in Kiev. Runs between where I was and where I am now. But uh, I'm about two blocks from uh, our apartment. I'll also share a link to the Airbnb apartment. It's been an excellent place to stay. It's sunny outside and the breeze feels great. I've got just a short walk up to the top of this block where my apartment is. Uh, so this is really, it's the perfect location here. Because I've had such a great stay at this Airbnb, I wanted to give a little bit of information about where it is and, and what it is. So the main square, the center point of Kiev is just one long block down that hill. And if you go a block up that hill, you have probably the two most expensive hotels in the city. There's an Intercontinental and a Hyatt Regency. And I looked on Hotels.com, both of those are going for $300 a night. So if you have sort of any concept about the economy in Kiev, you know that's incredibly expensive. Um, and just beyond that is the, uh, the train that takes you down to the, to the river district. But uh, this is a perfect location to be in Kiev. So if you're seeing this because you found the Airbnb, um, book this place. It's got two full bedrooms. There are two of us staying here. We've, get your, ah, we've each got our own room. Um, it's a really, it's a perfect spot in the city. So I was gonna give you a quick tour of the apartment. I showed you a tiny piece of it the other day, but this is the living room. We've got a TV, a chair, and then uh, a little dining table and a sofa, which is a sofa bed also, but we haven't used it. And then another funky sofa. And if you see the ad, you'll see all this stuff. And then we have, um, this is the entry. And behind me, there's a bathroom and a kitchen. And then follow me back down the hallway. There is this bedroom, which I would assume is the master bedroom because it's got a closet um, and that's where John's been staying. And then I picked this room because it has a desk, um, but it was perfect too. So if you do come to Kiev uh, and you're considering a place, definitely this is a great spot. We've been super happy with everything in this location. I told you that the apartment is in a great spot that is the Hyatt and you can't see it but over there is the Intercontinental and right down there about a block is where the apartment is so it's really it's probably one of the best neighborhoods in Kiev to be staying.